welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. exchange at work today and I didn't make any cookies so here we are arranging cookies on a platter so do you see this little acorn these are by Nora Fleming this actually pulls out and they have birthday cakes and champagne and balloons and cupcakes and pumpkins and you can get whatever you want and then you can change it out seasonally. And then you just pull that tab down and there you go. And the orange pills are all dried and I just have them on a drying rack now so that they can spend the rest of the day until I get home really finishing drying out. The only ones were these ones that were on the bottom rack. These four got a little brown, but I think um, the glitter will remedy that. And then I am just catching up on some vlogmas videos so i think right now on the tv is in the fro so that's what's going on i'm gonna enjoy a cup of coffee watch this and then get ready for work and head there and then i'll see you guys when i see ya hey everyone um so it is now 8 p.m and i am just getting home because i had a christmas party today um that I had to go to so this vlog is gonna go up really late but I definitely wanted to like stay true and not miss a day because because I just don't want to miss a day and at least Steven didn't try to electrocute himself today so we're winning um, but I do have some packages I honestly don't know what the one is but let's go ahead and check them out this is an enormous box for this so I actually think this is the Times or Tim's candle I was telling you about, and it is. So this is this year's gold Times or Tim's Fraser Fur candle. I will leave it linked below like I always do, but it has like this gorgeous gold lid. And then it's like the big three wick candle and it smells so good. So I bought this many years and it um, usually just has like the pine on it, but um, they've been doing like a lot more different ones. So they have like one that looks like white wood. They have this beautiful gold version, which I'm really excited. I actually saw this on Christina Brawley's channel and it reminded me that I haven't bought one. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful candle. It's $50. Um, but they have different sizes and different price points. So I'll just like link the website so you can go directly to it if you want to buy one. If you want a candle that throws off a ton of scent and really like an authentic like pine smell, this is the candle to go with. Oh, I know it. It's just not the box that I thought it would come in. It is all of my things for our DIY window decorating. So we have some tissue pom-poms, we have some honeycombs that are in white. Yes, this is all our snowflakes. These are our lights, I believe. Yep, yeah, these are our lights. We are all set, my friends. Oh, they came with remotes. So this is all for the DIY that we're going to be doing tomorrow over my kitchen window. I am so excited to do it and put it together. I'm, I'm pumped about it. I think it's going to turn out really beautiful. So I do want to get a jump start on some of the orange slices and show you how they turn out and how I'm going to use them. So let's go ahead and get everything 
that we need to do that. I wasn't paying attention to anything. And then I realized that I got a card in the mail and it is from Haley Cairo, a YouTuber. And what I have to say about her, um, because it just speaks so much of her as a person. When my channel was very small, Haley, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I wanna say that I probably had less than a thousand subscribers. Actually, Haley, I'm pretty sure I was like at 900. And let me put it in context, Haley has like over 130,000 subscribers. She reached out to me and just like was super encouraging, was like, you can ask me any questions I have. And she sent me a card and it actually means more than you'll ever know. And what she wrote to me is, wishing you, Stephen and Bubba's a very Merry Christmas and an incredible new year. I am so looking forward to seeing how you grow your community in the next year. You're truly an inspiration and light, my friend. Much love and many blessings. Love, Haley. I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> I'm totally gonna get emotional right now because she showed so much belief and so much support and I had no idea if this would even become a thing. And for someone who was that successful at the time to like reach out to someone who was like nothing, um, just speak so much of, about her as a human being. She is truly remarkable. Haley, this card is so incredibly special to me and it's something that I'm actually going to hold on to for a very long time because you're a reason why I kept pushing along um, because this isn't easy. It isn't easy to try to balance it all. Um, and this means more than you will ever know, so thank you. Um, all right, now that we've had our little emotional moment for the day, let's go ahead and get these orange slices ready to go so we can get them on garlands and see how they start turning out. I'm also going to show you the trick on how to make sure the glitter stays on them. Here are our orange slices. They are all perfectly dried, and then by putting them on the drying rack, it really kind of like, really allowed them to like finish drying out. And what I wanna do, is add a little bit of glitter to some of them. And where I'm going to like really attack glitter are some of the ones that got a little darker than I want. Now, I don't want a ton of glitter on mine, so I'm only going to pick like a handful to do with glitter, because I'd like the rest to stay plain. But I'm gonna show you how to do the glitter so it truly stays on. This might not be new, but I think it'll be helpful. All you'll need is some Mod Podge, and then I just have some gold glitter because that's what I want to do. A plastic cup. And then you want to use like one of these wedged sponges. So let's go ahead, pour the Mod Podge in and then we'll mix the glitter because we want the glitter to be coated with the Mod Podge so it really, really, truly sticks to the oranges. And I'm going to add a lot of glitter. And now I'm just going to mix this and make sure that the glitter is mixed inside so I picked about a dozen oranges to add glitter to. There's really nothing to tell you, except now I'm just gonna coat the oranges with the Glitter Mod Podge, and this will dry completely transparently. So I'm just going to keep adding glitter. And this, you wanna use the sponge, because then you can like dab it in and really coat it. All right, so these ones are glittered and you can see that some of them are already starting to dry and get transparent. And you'll see that it, they're just going to end up looking really glittery and all that white will go away and you'll just see the transparent orange. So these are going to look beautiful. So I have all the ones that have glitter on them drying. I'm gonna have to let them dry overnight, but I wanna show you how easy it is to work with them. So I just took Floris Fire and it will poke straight through the skin of the orange. So it's easy to turn it into an ornament if you want to, or to make like a little clustered arrangement. And what you wanna do is just get them in the position you want them in. Like I like these two spaced out like this and then just tighten your Floris Fire around them and they will stay just like that. And like, I wanna add like a cluster of three here. So I made this little cluster. And now I have enough tail that I'll show you what this looks like when we put it in the garland. 
And then what's great is then you can move, maneuver them a little bit. And then I actually really love the way they look in the garland. It's that easy and that cheap to make really great decorations. And I'm really excited about them. Now we need to open some advent calendars. Last night, Stephen and I started just for like a half hour working on my puzzle. So we really didn't get a whole lot done. We just got our border pieces out and then started putting some of the bits together. But I bought this felt mat off of Amazon and then you use this foam roller and you roll up your puzzle and then when you unroll it, it's still there. So really cool. It's day 14. So we got another, it's called Ritual of Haman Purifying Body Foam Shower Gel. In David's Teas, we got Lemon Pound Cake. 14 of Atelier Cologne. We got Grand Neroli. It's going to be a fragrance. Oh, it's not a fragrance. We got an infused facial water. And then let's go ahead and see what we get out of our 12 days of Christmas for Lush. I'm just gonna grab something. Oh, this is the Sleepy Body Lotion. This body lotion is amazing. It smells like lavender. It helps relax you so, so much. I keep this on my bedside table. I actually have two different size jars. It is really, really fantastic. I thought we'd go ahead and check on the glittered orange slices. I'm trying to find one that's pretty well dry. Here's an example. So you can see that the white has really dried out. They still have a little ways to go, but I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and hang a few. So I just finished adding the oranges to the garland on my staircase and on my mantle, and I wanna show you the difference it has made. So let's go ahead and look at the banister first. So it just makes it look so much fuller and festive. I did some single pieces and then did double and cluster some together. So that is what it looks like on the banister. I'm so happy. Down here in the living room, I just tucked some in to the garland and just look how full and beautiful that looks. It is so easy, but the payoff is so big. Um, so if you have some garland that's looking a little bare, like do the dried oranges thing. It's, it's so simple and yet makes such a huge impact and it just looks really, really high end and special. I'm going to end this vlog here so I can get it uploaded and posted to all of you. Um, and I'm gonna end it like I do all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which is tomorrow, bye bye And P.S. Tomorrow's my last day of work, so then all my attention is on Vlogmas. See you soon. No, I can't wait for the weekend. Waking up next to you. We'll be sharing our secrets. Making dreams come true. Let's have a toast for the lovers. We'll tumble